Welcome to 2021. So this is going to be a big year. It is actually already a big year. I've had, what's today, the 11th of January. I've had 11 very long days. It has been a very tough start to the year, very start, a tough start to the month. Uh, but it's followed off the back of what we were doing in November and December, which was pretty much just meeting a whole bunch of requirements for our customers to get things done by well, the end of January, really. We were actually looking quite, pretty quiet in um, September or October, and we were starting to think that we we're going to have to take some leave um, in December, but it doesn't look like it. We actually ended up busier than ever. So December was a very busy month, a very good month actually, um, especially after the previous six months that we had had. Although we were busy, um, you know, we, we, we are very lucky in the IT industry that we were able to keep busy during the global pandemic as it hit. Um, you know, it, it hasn't been the smoothest of rides, but we've, we've gotten there and we have actually persevered and we've come out the other end of it. Well, not that the pandemic is over, but we've come out the other side of 2020 and we feel like we, we have our goals aligned again. So what were our goals? So 2020, we actually planned to grow the business, well, pretty much planned to double the business. Uh, we were planning to go from 15 to anywhere towards 30 sort of employees. Um, then the pandemic hit, Thankfully, we didn't have to shed anyone. We were able to keep everyone on board and everyone was able to stay busy, but we weren't able to grow as we wanted to. So, onward and upward, we are now in 2021 and we have plenty of projects to keep us busy this year. Uh, so what are my personal goals for 2021? My personal goals are to keep trying to grow the business, um, get my TOGAF certification. So I've already got a whole bunch of Microsoft ones, Microsoft Azure, Administrator, Architect, um, 365, Security, um, all the general enterprise ones that, you, that generally people would like to get in when they're working in the Microsoft industry. So I have those ones, I have the certifications. I have pretty much everything, I think, except the DevOps ones, anything related to Azure and 365, I have most of those except the DevOps related ones and things like Dynamics 365. I don't really put much effort into the ones that I don't think are going to help me in my field. Uh, and my field is pretty much moving people into Azure for the first time or improving their cloud stance or moving into Microsoft 365 or looking at their security requirements in 365 and in Azure. Um, so when it comes to ones like DevOps, it's not really my field, it's not really my niche, so I don't do the certifications for it. But as I said, I do want to do my TOGAF one. So for people that don't know what TOGAF is, it's the Enterprise Architect Certification. Um, I did actually have it booked last year in March to do my course, followed by an exam a few months later, but I got cancelled or postponed due to the pandemic. So I'll try and do it this year. I'm going to keep trying to make lots of content on YouTube so the, the, the content has sort of changed direction or kind of, it's sort of doing both. I'm doing the more tutorial stuff where I show you how to deploy something or how to uh, improve something in your Azure subscription or your 365 tenant. Um, but now I'm also doing a day in the life of Cloud Consultant, for example, because I think that there is some interest in you know, what my day-to-day -day stuff looks like. Uh, I do tend to get more views on the ones where I just sort of take you guys around. Um, so I'm going to try and do a lot more of that in 2021. I'm going to try and get you guys to follow me, um, share some projects with you through the ups and the downs, see how, you know, maybe you guys don't want to be architects or don't want to be cloud consultants after this anymore. So hopefully it gives you a bit of insight. So let's get down to what we are actually working on this year or what we're actually working on at the present moment. So I'm coming to the office today. We have uh, one of the first projects we're working on this year is a infrastructure project. Well, we've got two hardware refresh infrastructure projects. Um, yes, we're cloud consultants, 
and yes we generally only work on cloud but you actually cannot have well in my opinion you can't have a business that just does cloud businesses need to be flexible um, most most businesses have a mixture of cloud and on-premises infrastructure at the moment so that's what we do we provide both services so the first couple of projects for this year are actually ongoing projects from last year they're basically customers that have hardware on-premises hardware they do have a level of cloud services but um, not quite at the point where they can get rid of their on-premises hardware so these two projects one of them is refreshing hardware that already exists at a data center um, that includes i think from memory six servers uh, we're doing nutanix builds actually so six nutanix nodes or three nutanix nodes i can't quite remember um, a convolt storage component and obviously a whole bunch of network kit that is not really in my realm but another team will be handling that uh, we are going pretty well in that project so this morning I'll be reviewing the designs and just seeing what's going on and uh, what, what we're planning to build and just reviewing my guys designs and just seeing if I can make any recommendations or anything other project that I have going on is another hardware infrastructure project um, it is a greenfield site we're just setting up one ESX node there with one uh, uh, sorry two one ESX node and one physical server and that physical server will be a backup repository uh, that one is pretty pretty small scale but it's still pretty interesting work we do actually have a couple of other cloud projects that are ongoing those cloud projects are from memory I usually would have a list in front of me now but from memory I have one that is a, a RDS service that is going to live in Microsoft Azure uh, it's going to use Azure AD application proxy which means that companies don't have to expose their on-premises networks to the internet uh, probably a bit technical but um, for those of the that are in the know that is a much preferred solution than having to expose services from on-prem or from Azure directly or to the internet um, so yep that is the first project so that one is actually I've assigned to one of my guys Colin that you may have seen on this channel um, he's doing a great job at doing the design for that and I'll be reviewing that design this morning as well uh, what else do we have we have a an Azure AD B2C uh, deployment so um, that one is actually ongoing that one is large-scale deployment to a, a massive amount of users so we have a company that hosts hundreds of applications and each application has its own username and database uh, username and password database sorry and they actually are looking to consolidate down to one single username and password database so one single identity provider that identity provider will be Azure AD B2C so very complex project very many many moving parts so that one will be a probably another few months at least um, we do intend to have a POC running by the or there is a POC running but we intend to have live users in there by the end of this month month is January so hopefully all goes well there uh, there is one more project on oh, Microsoft 365 so we've got a Microsoft 365 deployment uh, that'll include the hardening of Microsoft 365 uh, from standard Microsoft security practices the default settings are quite loose that is because they actually try and get people to use the collaboration functionality inside the Microsoft 365 suite which is great it's really good um, some of the things may be a bit too lenient for some companies so sometimes it doesn't meet compliance and things like that but I will harden the harden the Microsoft 365 tenant for that customer uh, and we will put into place any collaboration features that they want but we will control them 
So things like sharing, um, sharing documents with users outside of the organization, we need to restrict things like that. So I usually go through and I do a bit of a report and see what we can, um, what we can restrict and what the customer isn't planning on using so we can turn it off. Uh, that project will also consist of a Microsoft 365 Exchange Online deployment. So actually migrating from on-premises to Microsoft Exchange Online. We have actually already set up the hybrid connectivity, so it's just a matter of migrating the mailboxes. Um, that's about it. And today I'm in the office and everyone is here. Because everyone is keen to work at 6.30 in the morning. So we're just going through the RDS solution that we were um, talking about earlier today. Um, the RDS solution is, we're gonna try and secure it using an Azure AD application proxy so the customer is not going to have to expose their services to the internet. Um, so yeah, we're just drawing out this um, nice diagram here to show how the user flows. Uh, our user here that has, he's wearing his, um, coronavirus mask, it's 2021 coronavirus mask. It flows down to the authentication service and we're also planning to integrate MFA. A bit of a reflection there, but I think you can see it. We're gonna integrate MFA um, and Azure AD on-prem syncs to Azure AD. That is actually the wrong line. I don't know who drew that, but that should be syncing to Azure AD. And then down all the purple stuff is on-prem on-prem services but we will use azure ad to authenticate meaning we can do things like secure using multi-factor authentication we can review sign-in logs we can see where people are logging in from how often they're logging in we can capture that data do all sorts of cool stuff with that data like um predictive authentication stuff like that uh yeah, so that's one of the things that we worked on today. And uh, just thought I'd share that with you because this was a bit of a brainstorming session. That is not a final document. This, I know someone's going to pick me up on this. That needs to go over here. So I hope that uh, gives you a bit of an idea of how busy we're going to be this year and what I'm going to be doing this year. I hope that it drives you to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Um, and please feel free to comment, let me know what you think, what do you want to see more of? I'd love to deliver things that you guys are more interested in. Um, I just like making videos, so give me some ideas in the comment section below. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.